Welcome to another Friday closing bell for the week ending 18th of September 2015. The market did in close very well to this week, uh, almost uh, close to about 60 over points. Looking back my notes that I have here, 1603 last week and this week was 1663. Definitely the rebound back from the crude oil prices as well as the 20 billion market stimulus by the Prime Minister uh, on the value cap to show up all the market as well buying all those undervalued stocks definitely helped this the market now early on even before this if you look at the IVSA chart you could see we have uh, a nice two bar reversal uh, right at 15.00 level in there and that was the lowest we could get and I remember on our IVSA chart community I said everyone to buy the public bank uh, which is around 17.20 and that was the lowest you could ever get uh, certainly people who have bought that would have benefit in there because remember 20% corrections was as far as we have got so far uh, if the market's not going to recession so this is within my expectation because on our uh, research that I did on August 23rd I hope some of you who attended my August 23rd uh, Market outlook workshop. I did talk about in length about market corrections, about the 20% market correction, and uh, uh, that was spot on. As I said before, if you don't get in recession, 20% was as far as we can get, give and take maybe another 2%, and did reverse those of you who listen on. And I did get uh, some of the position for some of the client who went in and, and top up with me, and uh, we decided to uh, move ahead from there. So, as such, the uh, market today is down 12 points, which is not really a, a great deal significant now remember yesterday was up almost two percent which is um, up to 1650 uh, we have a overhead resistance which I will show you here currently uh, this part let me just blow this up a bit here then you can see ah this is where I'll, I'll talk about you know the one eye Joe trade remember at this pinnacle so normally I try to draw this one eye Joe trade and it did break up when you took out this high in here you can see it's 1600 level very very fast uh, this went up to almost 70 points you know from where we took off and the leap across the 50 day moving average the last time we had was here you can see that that was uh, end of August and now we are first time two bars already the last time we did this was um, in May okay and uh, we broke through here sometime also in January uh, this year uh, holding up support and then we were in the water uh, in the water since May until uh, September that's almost uh, four months now and we are back in here so we are so-called in the no man's land because the market will continue to climb above the 200 day moving average definitely we will try to race through but the overhead resistance uh, uh, overhead resistance let me just say uh, is uh, 1700 okay let me just 1700 but resistance is 1700 level in here definitely you have to stay above the 50 day moving average which is the 1653 level building up a nice base support in here now if you look at the uh, so-called weekly chart uh, anything that registered uh, about mm, one and a half two percent three percent on a weekly basis on a widespread bar it's a very significant event it's a very significant event like here we see it here we see it here remember this bar so that tells you a lot about how this market is going to break back to the 17 old level no doubt the downside is already over we are reverting back to a sideways market now as much as it is you can also see on the foreign funds flows we are turning very very positive first time on the 17th of September uh, which is yesterday as a matter of fact a few more days missing in here i suppose there is uh 16th as a public holiday and we have uh 14 15 i think there's one more missing in here 15 which is uh 15 which is a tuesday right we have tuesday uh definitely that should be another one in here i'll get my guys to look into it okay and uh let me just put that up okay 15 so that should have another value in it that will tell you how is the uh, so-called uh, mm -hmm. okay when you see that you'll probably see this thing too 
So that takes, you, takes us uh, on the foreign fund for the first time, many, many uh, weeks, almost two weeks. Last time we had was uh, first week of September. We are getting now on the uh, 17th of September. Maybe today we will see a bit of selling by foreign funds, profit taking, which is very, very normal. Okay, very normal. So going back to our charts that we have in here, a nice 5% breakup to the upside. Oh, that's going to be very, very good. Now on the uh, mid cap stock, you can see in here, you've been up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 updates. Mid cap stocks are ideal. When you go up, you go up in a nice up 9 days, down 9 days. Also breaking up very convincing above the 50 day moving. Ahead. Same goes for small cap stock. Uh, breaking back to the uh, so called uh, the 200 day. It broke through the 200 day. Right, if you can see here, uh, small cap stock also broke back the 50. But what is significant is the uh, small cap stock finally getting back above the 200 day moving average, which is very good because this one is the small cap is still uh, coming to a 50 day moving average. Then the 200, this is already past the, uh, the 200 mark. Right, very nice one in here. That tells you a lot, isn't it? The last time we actually held above the 200 day was sometime in again, uh, sometime in March 2013. Wow, that's no, this is a weekly chart. I should show you a daily chart. Sorry for that. Okay, a daily chart. There you go. The daily chart still the same. Uh, 50 day moving average. 50 day moving average need to be broken up, but it's been going up in a nice steady way here. Okay, now let's look at the uh, FKLI and CPU. Now FKLI definitely you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to go short at this moment. Look, looks like uh, maybe somewhere around one seven two three. That's where you want to be shorting. CPU has also cop up, cop up a lot uh, with the improve in crude oil prices. CPU have broken back to two zero one five. It was in nineteen oh oh level in here. Definitely uh, profit taking has been. The uh, the term the t the theme of the day twenty two oh coming back to two one oh oh so that's going to be this le level here that it has to be holding up. Uh, I think it will take a lot of Q from the crude oil sorry the oil and gas which is, I will show you uh, the crude oil prices in here. All right, so we done that. Let's look at the original report. Uh, it's the Singapore market today. Is Singapore. Let me just refresh this again. You can see uh, up trust, okay? So it's building a nice base. I was expecting it to break to 2954. Nice base level in here, apparently it didn't break. Um, Singapore was taking a cue from the US FOMC meeting that we have today. Uh, rates has been hold up as usual. When news are confirmed, technically we see a bit of a weakness in the market, which we did. Uh, but the other two days ago, uh, market was been trending up in anticipation that the US FOMC Janet Levin won't be raising any interest rate sooner. Okay, so that's why we see the uh, so-called uh, rates maintain and Singapore coming back here. Now we, we, it's coming to a very danger point for Singapore. Uh, as you can see, we are also forming a one eye jaw in here. Very likely or not. You can you can see it here. It's already broken through, okay. It already broken through the market. Somehow congests in a sideway market. Uh, not much of uh, uh, forces in here, but we have this breakout in here. Sort of this is what they call a dissipation of energy. Just sort of like a pendulum going, bot right, left, right, left, and then dies off, and then finally energy comes back up again. So this is how we're looking it. So if you think. Uh, what we see here, and there is no follow through on the up trust. Mind you, this need to be confirmed. Then we might see this moving back to the upside. Okay, uh, that's for the uh, Singapore market. Now let's look at the original market before we look at some of the stocks that we have. Okay, for a start, Dow Jones definitely hit an uh, uptrust 1670 classic the 50 day moving average now remember uh, malaysia have cleared it australian hasn't cleared it sing hong hong kong hasn't cleared shanghai hasn't cleared uh definitely singapore hasn't cleared 
Nikkei has inclined. Now, right here in top, Malaysia has been a nice leaderboard uh, in terms of indicator, knowing where the market is because it is highly non-correlated in there. But I do believe, uh, having say uh, Malaysia for so many years, for the last 10 years, if Malaysia clear the 50-day moving average, the rest of the world will follow soon. But definitely this uptrust. Uh, again, if tonight we see the takeout, closing back from 1670 to uh, take out the old high, which is almost close to about uh, 169, 16933. Then we see this continuing going up. Uh, again, the question about rates being raised will be bring up by October again. <laughs> and then December, this goes on and on and on. This is how the market is. Uh, Hang Seng still below uh, the 200 day moving average. Again, uh, Australia, nice base building, 5200. Every market looks to be you know, building up a nice base waiting for the breakout. Yeah? Waiting for a breakout. It does look like a breakout. I can tell you that. I can feel in my guts in here. Breakout, definitely be there. Okay, let's look at the weeks. Uh, okay, now I show you the uh, crude oil prices in here. You can see we have a nice uh, volume just dries up in here. We have uh, some sort of test market breaks up in here. Break above the 50-day moving average, which is the $45.92 in here. Nicely done, I do think. Uh, retesting back of the $50 will come back soon. Now, remember, if you in the scheme of things, you go to Goldman Sachs. Uh, uh, Goldman Sachs. Okay. All, what, 30, 37 all price? Right. Investment bank predicted $20. There was a time where uh, I still remember. Ah, this was the one. All prices on the. Um, here you go. Twenty dollars. Okay. Remember the date. That is the September eleven. Uh, sorry, September eleven nine one one. Right now nine one one is this is eight. See that eight, and they're pretty good. They almost got it by the, by the so called. Uh, by the low of the market when they say. All price is going to go lower. Guess what? They are smart money. Do you think they is going to be telling the whole wide world is going to go higher? Definitely not. Okay. So $20 uh, downgrade all forecasts. And that's why the market go higher. These guys are a bunch of crooks. I can tell you that. Okay. Uh, on week side, you can see uh, we hit a 53. Never have before. And since then, market are coming back down. I would think we are going back to the below 20. So that means uh, Dow Jones will likely to go back up to the 17.00 level in there, uh, which is uh, going to be good. So Wix is turning to currently is 21.14. Uh, regional market, we have seen it. Uh, foreign funds are starting to buy. So that's very, very positive. So looking at the uh, regional, we've done the regional market. Let's look at the uh, stock chart that we have. Okay. Uh, before that, let's look at gold and the uh, ringgit level okay aha uh -huh, there you go you say finally we are breaking back to the 420 because of no interest rate being raised that means us is going to be weakening that brings a bit of relief thus uh in the scheme of things you look at the peak here was the uh 9 8 of uh, august okay uh 8 of september and if you look back to now klci chart that does corresponds to okay let me just blow this up. September 8. September 9. September 8, right? September 14. This one. September. September. Yeah, that's the one. See? Almost at the low. There you go. So it, it does have an effect. So having said that, the strengthening of the ringgit back, that means a lot of the so called export will sort of you know uh starting to take profit from here onwards huh you can see uh i eventually i think you will go back to the 405 level here 4 four ten four or five level here all right uh because if we don't see a raise in the interest rate us dollar will definitely be weakened uh of course gold goes back to 11 dollars uh, uh 1140 it's ding donging between <laughs> 1100 and uh just short of uh, 1200 here around 1170 here for that matter okay let's re review the stocks that we have last week which is the 11 september nice one mieg finally breaking up uh singhua you know did uh buckle down a bit here closing low volume tests 
uh, home risk was a disappointment went up break down but it did close back up high in here I definitely got stopped out on that one SGX uh, lifting higher high here and uh, this was supposed to be let me change this this was last week yep that's right uh, Synergics holding looking very good uh, on a weekly basis you can see a 5% in here uh, the resistance will be at 17.00 level there if we can break through uh, we will see the retest of the 200 moving average at 17.50 but I do see that likely to be in November not too soon it's only September only. if it does hit 200 day moving average come back down uh, holding support at 165 and then go back up that would be nice that's what I think it would likely to do with that I bid you a good evening I'll see you next week bye bye